In the name of science, what happened in 2019, now people are saying it was done in the name of science, not even in the name of God. If somebody tells you that something was done in the name of science, but not in the name of God, then it was done in the name of the devil. Well, my advice to you, never call someone a conspiracy theorist because you don't know what they know. So, you don't know what you don't know. Therefore, always, always the truth comes out. Therefore, seek the truth, love the truth, share the truth, because if there's no truth in you, you shall never see God, never. Now, if I come out saying that what they did in 2020, starting from 2019, 21 and beyond, was done in the name of science because they tried to catch up the speed of science. So, the question writes if it was in the name of science, all these things were done. And then, the question is, what about the pandemic? Was it real or fake? Because something cannot happen now and speed up something to catch up. It does not make sense. Which means that was an agenda. So what that is agenda? We have to figure out. Let's go back to Egypt. When they had the temperates, there was no science trace with. We know those prayers came from God. The same is happening now, but people are smart enough to cover up. That's why it's kept a top secret as we are going to see in a moment. Now, what caused people trash in 2019? Fear and forced on people to take it. Why? You have to ask yourself why. Why the rush? Why people were forced? Why fear? And why people who opposed it were killed, such as in the case of Magufuli, the, president, the former president of Tanzania? You know what he said. We test the God, we test the papaya, we found out to be the same case. So, what's the point? That's what he said, and we know the rest. Now, does this thing have anything to do with the Great Awakening that is happening all over the world? For Israel? For Judah? Who are waking up to who they are? The true people of God? Yes, absolutely. But, again, it's kept as a top secret. Nobody knows really what's happening behind the scenes, behind closed doors. We know there are tons of monitoring and censorship all over. That's why we know what's happening. It's an agenda that the world does not want everybody to know so that they distance themselves from God's evil agenda. That's how we know what we say is true. How do we know the 2019 event was prophetic? Well, the Bible says even the elects will be deceived. How many people were deceived to take part voluntarily in what happened in 2019, 2020, and beyond. You tell me. A lot. Many. Now, here is my question. If what happened in 2019 is kept as a top secret, what do we know about the Bible? The removed books from the Bible? The Christ's death? Or even 70 AD? That means what we think we know 
It's nothing other than just lies. That's why we have to empty ourselves, learn to be read. That's how we're going to find out the truth, and this truth will make us free. Thank you very much for watching. May God bless you. Shalom, shalom, shalom.